the northern puffers swimming along in some eelgrass. I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna draw a puffed up puffer over here. And then maybe in the background here, I'm gonna draw another puffer or a couple of other little puffers um, swimming along also. All right, so I'm gonna start with, let's start with a nice, very light circle. All right, so we got the circle and come from the top here and we're gonna come down and kind of box this off a little bit. Put in a couple of lips. Just gonna change this angle a little bit here. And I'm gonna come up straight. And I got this long narrow part here before their tail and then their tail. Alright, throw in the eye. Let's put in there uh, the pectoral fin dorsal fin. All right. And then we can just add the basic little shapes. They have all these little markings, like stripes on the side of them and lots of polka dots. All right, so that's a puffed up one. Now let's put in a couple over here that aren't so puffed up. So instead of starting with a circle, we're going to start with more of an oval. All right, so we got our oval. Let's put in a couple. And as I, they go further back, the smaller they're gonna be. So let's put another one right about, let's see here. All right, so now I've got my oval, and I'm gonna kind of box off this top here. Put the lips in. Come down just a slight bit, and then we're gonna come back in and up. And then this back part stays even, and then swoops down just a little bit at the tail end. Put our tail in. Eye. Pectoral fin. Got the little dorsal fin and a little anal fin here. The lips, and again, they're little stripes. So just keep repeating that for each one of these fish that you're gonna draw. You can draw as many as you'd like. So eelgrass, where um, these northern puffers like to kind of hide out and they also, it's a great source uh, of food for them. All the little creatures that they like to eat that are living in the eelgrass. There's lots of different species, very important commercial species of fish that actually use the eelgrass as a nursery um, and also for feeding grounds and to hide some of the fish that frequent there are fluke and flounder, um, blackfish, black sea bass, striped bass, and these guys, these northern puffers, um, these are all good commercial fish. All right, so I've got my couple of puffers going on here. And now I'm gonna add in my eelgrass. And this guy in the front, I want him like, he's like right in front of my face. So I'm going to put maybe one strand of eelgrass in front of him. So I'm gonna come through here and just add two, two little lines. And they can get further and closer together. They don't have to be perfectly parallel to each other because it's like the eelgrass is twisting in the water. All right, so this one here is gonna be in front of the puffer fish. So I'm gonna erase this line from the puffer here. So now it looks like the eelgrass blade is in front of that puffer. All right, so 
I'm gonna do one more in front of him. this part out. Alright, now these guys are going to go behind the puffer. And this one's going to go in front of this puffer. So it's given us depth to our drawing. our outline now and now it's just a matter of going in and shading everything and um, if you want to add more fish you could add more fish if not don't all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and start shading in and adding maybe some movement of water eelgrass here. It went off the page and it's coming back in this way. All right, so let's let's get some movement going on here. So I'm just going to very lightly the edge of my pencil uh, just going to make it like the water's coming through here. Like there's movement, the current is coming. Obviously the water's coming through there. All right. My fingers and smudge that in. Use my eraser. little fish back here and just kind of fine-tune them, add a little bit of shading. Puffers are darker on the top, browns, some yellow they have up in there and they've got these little stripes and polka dots on them. side of the eelgrass and like little clumps. It's pretty neat. These are probably my favorite um, species of fish that live in our local bays during the summer. Building up some color in here, the edge of my pencil.
here I'm using my eraser to take away the drawing <coughs> that I did behind um, to make the hill grass really look like it's in front of this puffer. these fishies. When I was a kid and we used to go swimming and snorkeling over in the Peconic Bay and the Shinnecock Bay and we'd float over the beds of eelgrass and we'd see a whole bunch of these puffers and it was pretty neat. Also sitting along the shorelines or fishing along the shore and having the puffers come along and kind of nibble around your feet. Pretty cool. Love these guys. They're fun to watch. Alrighty. Here you go. The Northern Puffer. 